Hey, this is Names Pending, and welcome to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Wrath of the Dark Hall King. Now I'm going to be quiet for a sec, so you can appreciate this start music. <sighs> Sounds fuck all like the TV music, and it's great. So, this game was originally released for the Game Boy Advance, of which I never owned. So this is like my third time of playing this, um, and I'm only playing this because I saw it and thought this would be hilarious for me to try and play on Names Pending. So, I'm doing it on easy because, well, it's my first time playing. I'll blame it on that and not because I'm crap. First thing you'll notice is this game is bloody old. So the graphics are incredibly dated. And it shows because they're using real people in their cutscenes, if you can call them that. And this is the actual game. So, again, you can hardly tell that's Buffy. It could be some random woman. I would literally have no idea if this wasn't called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I didn't know that it was actually meant to be Buffy. So... One collecting from these crates are meant to be stakes, even though, again, from the graphics, you can't really tell that. And these are meant to be vampires that just walk away from you casually, like they didn't just try and eat your face off. What I also know is that the gentlemen are in this, um, and it's based around the gentleman, Adam. Um, who I don't know if you'll remember, if you, if you watched the original series, he was like some creepy mashup of people made by the Institute. I think that was their name? Oh shit. Well, that was dumb. Um, I think, I can't remember if that was their name now. The Initiative. Initiative. That was their name. Um, so the first thing that really I noticed from this game is you have to start the whole level again if you die, which is really bloody annoying and I wish you didn't have to do it but you do now I've also noticed as well that every time you hit a vampire or an object with your stake you actually lose said stake which is really bloody annoying again so you have to be kind of easy on them so to say, not that I am, um, this is my first time playing, so I'll blame it on that. So this fire, you've kind of got to get over it while it's not there, and it comes up very quickly, with, and with these nav controls, you don't really have a choice about getting killed. So, they try and put a puzzle in the very first episode, very first episode, um, level, where you've got to press these switches in numerical order, obviously it's not high, it's one, two, and three. But it should be a level mostly about introducing you to the game and the story. Whereas this is just throwing you straight into it and doesn't really explain much to you at all. One of the things that does impress me is the inclusion of like the jumping and stuff on climbing along rails, because from my memory of games that are around this time, you didn't really have too much of that. Um, so it was, that's nice, but the one thing I do really dislike is pretty much everything else about this game. Um, to me, it stands along with Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the um, original Xbox, which I also have, um, and that's not Chaos Bleeds. That is literally just called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I've got Riley, and he really irritated me in the TV show, and no doubt he still does now. He looks nothing like him either. So that's a bonus, I guess. I wanted to kill this vampire. Like that, I guess. Oh, and we're trapped. So 
so as you can see the collision detection isn't perfect one of the other things this game has is a simple inventory system um, so you can pick new weapons to fight the undead horde with if you can actually reach them but again as you can see my sword dagger thing is now gone You'll also be impressed to know that this is the second time I got this far. The previous time was recording this video again. Uh, recording this video before this time, where I tried to record it and forgot to turn my microphone off. And I actually died trying to jump over a fire. So why am I throwing these axes when I could be actually fighting with them? I don't know. And I died. And here you'll see I've had to start the level all over again, so I'm not going to, because this bitch is annoying me, and it's why Willow should have got her own game. Let me know in the comments down below which Buffy games you've played, be it Chaos Bleeds, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Wrath of the Dark Old King, whichever, and let us know what you th thought of those games, and whether you think Buffy should have a revival, not the TV series because that was perfect, but I mean a game. Like imagine it on the PS4 now with the graphics and seeing Spike in that those sweet, sweet HD graphics. As always, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao!